And lastly, I will show you how to calculate effect size for a dependent samples t-test. Remember that effect size allows us to measure the magnitude of mean differences. Like if we know that two means are different, are they just a little bit different or are they very different? Effect size lets us estimate that. Now this is usually calculated after rejecting the null hypothesis in a statistical test. By rejecting the null, we're saying that two means are different. If the null hypothesis is not rejected, effect size doesn't really mean anything. Because you can't say how different two means are if you already know that they're probably the same. This is only done after rejecting the null. So this is the data that I had in my dependent samples t-test example from a few lectures ago. We knew that the average difference was 1.7, the standard deviation of the difference was 1.49, the sample size was 10, and our t was 3.61. So using this information that you would have after doing any dependent sample t-test, I'm going to calculate effect size. First, I'm going to calculate it using Cohen's d. Cohen's g is just the mean difference over the standard deviation of the difference. So in this case, we can find a Cohen's d of 1.4. Sorry, 1.14. Now, what does that mean? Well, if your d is about one is about 0.2, that means you have a small effect. If it's about 0.5, that means you have a medium effect, and if it's about 0.8 or larger, that means you have a large effect. In this case, 1.14 indicates a large effect. That means our means are likely very different. Now there's also another way of calculating effect size, and that's with R squared. R squared really refers to the amount of variability that is shared between the groups. I'm not going to get into that now. Just know that R squared is another way of calculating effect size, aside from Cohen's d. And R squared is just T squared divided by T squared plus the degrees of freedom. So I put those in there and I find an R squared of 0 0.59. And it's just like Cohen's D. If you have 0 0.01, you have a small effect. If you have 0 0.09, you have a medium effect. And if you have 0.25, you have a large effect. In this case, 0 0.59 indicates a large effect. So just like we found with Cohen's D, it means that our means are likely very different. So those are two different ways of calculating effect size after you've done a dependent samples t-test.